it's been a great pace. Different than what we saw in the home opener, that's for sure. Keenan shoots, he scores as he sneaks in, slides by his check, and it's 1-0 Brooklyn. Referee Garrison was the only one that, who knew that went in. If his arms didn't go up, I don't even think the Redmen would have known. Just sort of squeaked it in short side. Vince thought he had the entire net blocked off. Courier, Courier takes a couple good slashes right there, and the ball comes across. Now they have their full 30. Culp trying to create a little room here for Vitarelli. Vitarelli going in, and he's going to pull up. Stainhouse, shoots, he scores! You can see that coming, it's 1-1. The Lakers in the right minute time. An absolute bullet from the top for his 17th goal of the season. Stainhouse is second in points for the Peterborough Lakers. By Vince, Lakers have it. Here they go, up the floor, it's Courier. Zach Courier with one hand on the stick. Courier shoots, he scores, but it's waved off. Oh my goodness. Listen to the booze, the crowd wanted that one to go the Lakers' way. Well, take Looking. a look at it and see. Oh. That is as close as it's going to get. The referee has to make a split decision. There's no video replays. Man, double team, they got the extra two guys, so it's a little easier to get the, the ball back. And they do. Sean Evans with it. The league's top scorer. Fakes to the crease, they score! Corey Vitarelli! It's 2-1 Peterborough. I still don't get how they're able to pull that play off. Game in and game out. Everybody in the league knows it's coming. Evans from the shooter position. Cross floor to Corey Vitarelli for the quick stick at the crease. We see it every game. Doesn't always work, but 90% of the time it seems to. And teams just can't stop it. I think they know if they go towards Vit, well then Evans is just gonna step in and shoot. So even though they know it's coming, what, what do you do? For Vince, but off the end boards. And it is Peterborough ball, Corey Vitarelli goes in, he shoots at a save. Rebound, fake, and they score, Brad South goes, waved off. What's going on here, Scott? Waved off pretty quickly by the referee, the players arguing it. And we'll see if we can get a look at it. So shot from self. Definitely was not crease. 30 second buzzer didn't go. Referee didn't go over and say anything to the coaches. Hazen's kind of staring them down right now. And the crowd still booing. Very strange call. I don't know what you could have been calling there unless there was an interference uh, possession call. I know Evans was on the far side tied up with Priolo. Fun with it. Looking to tie up this lacrosse game. It's Knight. Knight with a pass. A shot, they score! Right there, Austin Shanks. Beats Matt Vince, and it's 2-2. Great outside shot from the youngster. The period's first goal of the game. He's got a heavy and accurate shot. And he was able to just blow it through traffic and pass Vince. Austin, and here's a breakaway here for Chris Corbeil. Shoots, he scores. Corbeil gives the Redmen the lead. They're up 3-2. It's another one of those acquisitions that the Redmen picked up at the trade deadline. Chris Corbeil, the captain of the Champions Cup winning Saskatchewan rush. And Williams grabs the game ball for him, his first goal as a Brooklyn Redman. So good for Sean Williams for recognizing that and making sure he gets the game ball. As you take a look at Corbeil, left all alone. He's got wheels, had a couple steps on everybody. Vince didn't know what he was going to do. Corbeil, no fakes, just a straight shot. One hand on a stick. You see more and more of that, eh, Scott? Just guys working it with one hand. The strike, he scores! He sticks it in off Higgins. Into the back of the net, and we're tied again, it's 3-3. Yeah, the one hand you see a lot more, especially from these guys who are coming back from the States on field across scholarships. And Holden Katoni, one of those guys, he goes to Johns Hopkins, and he spins and fires a heavy shot, but great control, keeping that stick away from the defender until he's able to spin around and get a free shot. Higgins didn't see it to the last second. Chad Culp with it. Culp to Evans. Evans on low, he scores! Sean Evans gives the Lakers a 4-3 lead. 
That was a great play by Matt Vince coming out of his net to cut the floor surface off so he could get the ball right back into the offensive zone. It's goal, that's Sean Evans, 75th. Yeah, that's gonna count. Courier gets it to go this time. And the Lakers have scored two in a row. Zach Courier. Unbelievable transitional goal. I was just about to say that was Sean Evans' 75th point of the season. And then Zach Courier, we talked about him, the transition player of the year in junior lacrosse. He grabs it, Sweeting just got off in time and stumbled going into that bench. Here's a chance, they score again! Curry Vitarelli, three to row by the Lake Show. It's 6-3, Peterborough. All the momentum with the Peterborough Lakers right now. Three quick goals. Evans at the crease, or the top of the dotted line to the crease. Couple fakes, some great shots right there with a goal by Courier. Wow. That one is highlight real material, giving the Lakers a 7 3 lead. That'll go down for one of the best goals of the year for sure. I was just about to say he threw one too many fakes and ran out of real estate, but somehow Courier able to use that reach. He's almost behind the net at this point. Higgins thinks he's out of reach, and Courier stretches out and buries it far side for his 17th goal of the year. Here's Keenan with it right now for the Redmond. Pass out in front, shot, and they score, sneaking it in. Curtis Knight, he didn't look like he had a lot of room. He found a spot. That's huge for Brooklyn, closes the gap to 7-4. Very similar to Keenan's first goal, where Vince was squared up. You couldn't see any of the net on that short side. Now Lakers are going to try and kill off some of this. Quick stick, they score, Vitarelli. That trip for Corey Vitarelli. And that one comes courtesy of Sean Evans. He picks up another point. Deja vu, that's that play we're talking about. Shawnee Evans from the right side, just underneath the shooter position, across to Corey Vitarelli for the quick stick. Now to the top. Josh Courier's got a little room. Courier shoots, he scores! Another dandy by Courier. That makes it 9-4, Peterborough. Patience in town. Courier with a swim move, fighting off a couple checks, and we got some off-the-ball action on the far side going on here, getting involved. It's Kyle Rubish. 155 left in the third. Rubish takes his man down to the carpet. Don't forget, if you'd like to volunteer with Coach of, Coach of Co TV, we're looking for some great volunteers. And that's how you can do so. Just uh, give the hotline a call. And we'd love to have you join us here. We got some great opportunities. And there'll be no fighting amongst the volunteers, though. That's the one rule we have. No fighting, but uh, we'll certainly hook you up with some Southside Pizzeria. You might, you might fight over the pizza, but uh, no real scrapping. Pace by five points. Here's a quick stick, and they score Brooklyn. Not going down without a... Without a battle here, that makes it 9-5. Again, some chirping after the whistle, some shots exchanged. Here tonight in front of over 3,100 fans at the PMC. Scotty's got your post-game show. He'll wrap things up for us. Coming up, you're watching Lakers Across on Kojiko TV.